Just this year, Elgo announced their new release of their new resin, the Elgo AK Standard Resin. And this is meant to be a complementary product to the new Elgo Saturn 2, which uses an 8K screen. So Raya has already had a navy grade resin that uses pigments to help block out the extra light, which in return increases the exposure time, but you get extremely detailed prints because of the way this blocks out the extra light that's coming into the resin. Elegoo's AK resin uses a similar type of mix to help get a thicker resin and less light bleed to get more details, but in return, more exposure. I use my Canon R5 to photograph the models. It has 45 megapixels. Essentially what that means is that the pictures are very large. So then that gives me the ability to crop out and get very close into the details of the model to see exactly if there's any major difference between those two and to see how much detail is actually retained from the resin. I printed out some test models to see how these resins handle small intricate details. And I also threw in the Elgo standard resin just to see exactly how much big of a difference there is between the 8K and the regular resin. And to be honest, it's pretty huge how much of a difference there is between the standard and the uh, Sarai resins and the Elgo AK resins. And you can see right here in the picture, just look how much different it is. This is the exposure settings that I use for each model. This is the lowest that I can go before the print start experiencing any kind of failures or problems. So this is like the best quality you can get with this resin before it begins to like become unprintable. The Elegoo standard resin requires less exposure because it uses less darker pigments. So you're able to use a faster exposure setting, but again, you get less detail with the prints. First, we'll start with the Elegoo AK resin. The detail is amazing. Like you can see the individual bumps on the side of the shoes. You can see that the Nike logo is just very, you can see the strands around it. It's, it's honestly amazing how much detail is being resolved. Uh, you can see the, the little bumps behind and on the sides. You can see the basketball, the individual little strands is coming out. You can make out the words on the, on the back. Uh, this file is going to be available, by the way, in the link if you guys want to get it yourself. But you can see just the detail is amazing. And like at the Elegoo AK is just doing an amazing job of getting these details out. And finally, here, here's the Soraya Tech, and you can see it looks actually almost the same. It's very hard to make out any differences. Um, the problem is something that I do realize with the, uh, the Soraya Tech resin is that it gets like white residue a lot more easily. And keep in mind that I use a fresh batch of IPA to clean out these two objects. And for some reason, the uh, Elegoo AK resin, I'm sorry, the Soraya Tech resin just doesn't really come out super clean. And I mix it very well. I did all the power procedures to make sure that this is supposed to come out as clean as it could. I also waited about three hours before actually curing these models. Um, so when I cleaned it, cleaned it in the IPA, I left it out for three hours to dry off. Um, then I dried off with the towel just to make sure that there's no extra residue left on the model themselves. I used 99% pure IPA, so it should dry off honestly pretty fast. So this isn't a problem also of the IPA curing with the model itself also. Um, this is a common problem with it. It's not that bad. It's not a big deal. Honestly, once you paint over it, it'll go away. You can even clean it off. But you don't really experience this problem as much with the Elegoo resin. Like, it kind of just comes out and it just comes out. I don't think it uses a pigment mix the same way the Sarai does. So there's less chances of it getting um, white residue more easily compared to the uh, Sarai Tech resin. But again, like, this doesn't take away from the detail. They both are doing a great job of resolving the details that it has to do. It just looks amazing. I can't really speak for this. And finally, we go into the Elgo standard resin and just, you see that and it's a massive difference now. Now you're seeing a big difference in detail. There's a lot, there's a bigger loss. You don't see these strands around this, the Nike logo like you do with the Sarai Tech or the Elgo, like you can make it out. The, uh, the standard one just, it resolves some details, but it's just not as good. You can see that the, the three individual logos are kind of blended in. It's not like a straight line that cuts straight through. Like, see, you could you can make out the lines. There's one, there's two, there's three. You could tell that the layer has kind of come out. But with the standard resin, it's just kind of all blends in together and it really washes out details. So if you're printing something like, if you're printing, especially miniatures, if you're printing them at a small scale, like I would suggest you don't use this resin because it just can't print out those finer details the way the Sarita can or the uh, Elegoo 8K can. Again, like, you know, just I'm going to quickly like swap through so you guys can see and like, get an idea of how it looks like, like going from this to this. This is the Elegoo AK. This is Soraya, Elegoo 8K, 
Soraya. I, there's like I think there's some differences at the top, but honestly, it's minuscule. Uh, again, it's probably because the lighting. I feel like the Elgu AK is resolving some letters lettering better, but the Soraya Tech is not. Um, but then again, this could be just a lighting thing. So, yeah, but I mean, both of them are doing an amazing job, and I wouldn't be mad with either one. And honestly, I, honestly, I would pick these resins depending on which one's cheaper. Most people are going to purchase it through Amazon because it's the easiest way to do it. Um, again, $37 for nine cents. And if you go to the Elgu AK resin, it's about 40 bucks. So right now, the Sorry Tech has an edge in terms of pricing, so I'm pretty sure people are going to be purchasing that one instead. Um, if they're ever cheaper or offer a better discount, then I would probably just purchase the Elgu AK resin. It's up to you. Some people like to support Elgu, some people like to support Sorry Tech. They're both great companies. I wouldn't be mad about whichever I get. I personally would get the Sorry Tech because I just like the fact that it's more viscous. However, knowing that uh, there's not a pigment mix with the Elgu AK, so like you can let it sit on your vat for a longer time and have to worry about mixing it after a few days. Because if you don't know, Soraya Tech's resin actually breaks apart if you leave it um, on the vat for a long time and you have to mix it again. Elgu AK doesn't deal with this, so that's one plus they also have going for themselves. In terms of like bench strength, um, here I'm doing the Elgu AK first, then I did the Soraya Tech afterwards. The Elgu AK is a lot more firmer. This is post cured, by the way, so it's a lot more firmer. When I try to bend it, it just snaps right away. The Sarai Tech has a little bit more leeway before it actually snaps, so it kind of bends with it, then it snaps. So, in terms of strength, I think Sarai Tech also has an edge over here. I'll post links to the pictures below in the video description so you guys can look at it yourselves. Again, they're both great resins, you can't go wrong with either one. Uh, I know Sarai Tech offers a 5 kilogram resin, which Per ounce is cheaper than buying a Elgu AK resin. So, if you know you're gonna be using a lot of resin, I would say get that one. It's cheaper in, in the long run. If you're gonna be printing like here and there, not that often, then I'll probably go for the Elgu or Sarai Tech, whichever, again, whichever one is cheaper. And that's it. If you have any questions, post them below and I'll try to answer them and see if there's anything else that I missed here, probably. I'll see you later.